Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing an ink from Wearing All, which is a Korean, South Korean uh, uh, ink manufacturer uh, and uh, or company. And this is their ink Lost. And this is the one I'm looking at today. This is what uh, the ink looks like on uh, a colouring card. You can see it's a really nice dusty blue. It's got some beautiful sort of like green shading and stuff in it. There's a lot of depth to this ink. It's really quite beautiful. But what we're going to do is we're going to look at it on some different kinds of paper today. Uh, I've done a couple of little tests and uh, you'll see how it goes. So here it is on 68 GSM Tomo River paper. I had it in my usual couple of Twisby Go pens. Uh, and uh, let's get cracking because this is interesting. The so five points. First point, it's a new brand and product. Wearing is a brand that's been around for a little while and they've started making fountain pen inks or... Uh, Retailing fountain pen inks, which is really very very cool. Nice presentation. I put it's a really beautiful simple box it Comes in a 30 mil bottle as you can see here Simple elegant You know, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't need to do and uh, You get a little card in here that gives a little bit of sort of information and the color and that kind of stuff So it's nicely presented. It looks great Good job. Okay uh, the next point is availability. As this uh, video is being filmed, they have just put their products on Amazon. So there's not a huge range of places you can get it. I'll link to the, this ink down below. You can have a look at this and a couple of others. Um, okay, I've got, it's a tradition, it's got traditional properties. So it's not super concentrated and sheeny and shimmery and all of that kind of stuff. It's just a really lovely, beautiful, elegant color. And then the last point I've made here is it's made in Korea, South Korea, in the same factory that makes color versus ink so uh, it's that it's a company that knows how to make well the manufacturer knows how to make ink and they're making these for wearing all so let's talk about performance um so as we'll see when we look at it on some of the lower end paper there is some feather uh, it actually feathers and bleeds quite a lot uh, not on tomo river or rodeo there is nice shading i'll bring this up nice and close so we can have a look at it you can see like beautiful shading the lighter shading is maybe a little bit light for some people but uh it, it, where it pulls, it looks beautiful. And it's got a fairly light saturation. There is some water resistance. So this is, I put water on here. Most, it moved around a little bit on the surface, but most of it stayed. And we can also see that here in the, uh, in the chromatography where we get like this good baseline, a little bit of lighter blue sort of pops up through. But I've drew a little line here just in pencil where the water went up to. So you can see it didn't drag a whole lot of it uh, up with it, which is really nice. It does have a slightly longer dry time, um, not super long, sort of 40 to 60 seconds, uh, but longer than, you know, some other inks do, and it's got decent flow. It, it, it feels nice on the page. Extras, no sheen or shimmer, nothing like that, but it does shade nicely. Let's look at it on some other paper now. I have it here on 80 GSM Rodeo paper, nice little swatch again there, beautiful sort of like sea greens and stuff coming through there, great shading. Nice and, you see, nice and wet, uh, but you know, just a really nice sort of solid ink. If you look at the reverse of that page, the only thing that sort of has come uh, through is sort of where we laid down quite um, a lot of ink there. Uh, but when we look at it on a slightly lower end paper, this is the standard sort of copy paper uh, from Reflex. Um, you can see there's a bit of feathering starting to happen. It starts to spread, it looks a little bit more dull, uh, and there is quite a lot of bleed. Going down the chain again, we get uh, the student notepad uh, from Spyrex, and you can see a bit more feathering happening there. It actually feathers quite a lot, uh, particularly in the broader weapon nib, uh, and bleeds quite a lot. But what is actually interesting is um, you actually get some nice sort of hint of that sort of greeny, sea sort of green in the midst, uh, middle of that uh, nice gentle blue that this ink is. So I put two inks down here, uh, Grey Seas from Robert Oster and uh, Diamine Colt Pens Matthew. What I wanted to do is put it alongside another sort of blue, bluey, grey sort of colour. You can see it's much lighter, there's a bit more green coming through. And then alongside a grey, just so you can see that it is quite blue. There's a lot of like that light sort of blue coming through there without any issue. So now let's talk about the price. It's 30 mils and it's 16 to 70, 17 US dollars or on Amazon around the 20, I think. Um, so, but it is limited availability, but you get 30 mils of ink for that price, which I think is okay from a small uh, brand. Uh, but I think uh, as the availability sort of picks up, I would imagine there may be some sort of fluctuation in that price point. 
So I have given this a three out of five. I think it's a nice color, particularly in the wetter, uh, you know, sort of more dark shading sections. Is it? It's got some nice shading, but I think if you were using this for, you know, sort of everyday writing, some of that lighter shading may just be a little bit too light. And there are a few performance issues, but it's got great water resistance, um, you know, really holds together. It's a really safe ink and it's true, you know, traditional in most of its properties. Uh, yeah, just a couple of little things like that feathering and stuff, uh, which if you're using Tomo River or Rhodia, isn't so much of an issue. So just keep all that in mind. I hope you found this video about uh, wearing all's ink lost to be interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. And please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can contact me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email, which is listed down below. A big, big, big thank you to Wearing All for sending out this ink and a couple of others for review. Uh, it's there, so it's the support like that that keeps this channel going. So a big thank you. Uh, and uh, if you've got anything you'd like me to look at, uh, just drop me a message. In the meantime, enjoy your inks, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.